Hello friends, I was busy a little bit, so there was not so many time to work on scale models, but today we try to finish one of the existing projects. French reconnaissance vehicle EBR-75 with a turret EFL-10 and a main gun SA-50 75mm. This kit is in a popular 135 scale Hobby Boss production. All previous episodes you can find in the links below this video. For this moment, model was mainly assembled and covered with the red-brown Vajex acrylic primer. It seems that all previous stages and some upgrades were successful. If we mention upgrades on this kit, in last episode I added casting marks that was made with the help of Tamiya's grey putty for plastic models. Under the layer of primer, it visible but not very clearly, but uh, it's a light armored vehicle and uh, it was my first attempt with casting marks, so I think that's okay. That technique I repeated both on the turret and whole sections of this model, and it will be my first model of a French vehicle in 135 scale, and I want uh, it to paint uh, historically accurate, that means that some colors uh, like uh, directly on this uh, box I want to achieve and it will be a green color. In future I try to build at least one more French uh, vehicle, car, uh, with the same colors, uh, for example like this lovely V15. As a decision I accept uh, such a US dark green color that can be mixed with light or darker tones to achieve different results. Initialize pre-shading process before main green color. I hope it will uh, add some artifacts on my model. Anyway, it helps to warm up hands before the main painting works. So I seen a green acrylic paint to a consistence of a milk, charge it into airbrush and go ahead. Well, find base uh, green color, dark green color. If we want, and we want, we can apply additional highlighting uh, on some elements of this kit. Panels, uh, superstructures, hatches and so on. We can do this tip with a mix of base dark green color and some lighter tones, for example white, light grey or buff or something like that. Interesting process. We can use uh, for this purpose some painting masks, but I do that directly with the airbrush. Well, let's paint a little bit uh, some small stuff, instruments. Uh, they can be painted in different colors with the hand brush. After applying of an ochre tones on wooden parts, we achieve more interesting view on our turret, and this increases the detailization of our model. If you make some mistakes during this uh, patient process, uh, that's not a problem, you can uh, correct it with a green color and repeat the process again. Let's go back to the highlighting process again, I want to add more of them additionally to previous stages, so I add uh, more of light tones to our basic dark green uh, color, do such a things with uh, uh, wheels is not must-have operation if you want to put there some uh, dust pigments or something like that in the end of your work. Also try to add some earth tones and highlights on our dust uh, cover that we crafted in the previous episode from latex. So time for decals. Uh, what we have here and we have only one uh, marking option in this kit but it belongs to a real prototype and uh, even more we can find the photos of uh, this prototype. By the way, we're moving to the similar result as we see on these photos. So I prepare decals, prepare places where they have to be located, fix them with the special liquids and to uh, move on to the next steps. One of them is the washing process at classical dark brown wash and remove extra amount of wheat with the ear sticks. Also we prepared wheels for onboarding on our model, paint them with a mix of light grey colors and a, a black tire one. Actually we can stop uh, directly on this stage, on this process uh, and uh, we achieve a good model, but I think that uh, we can 
play a little bit with it. I mean, uh, to make this model less boring. And for this purpose, I add small amount of chipping effects on it. Uh, mostly on uh, different corners, edges, uh, so the places where the paint is uh, scratching first of all. For this uh, purpose, I use uh, light green tones of the paint. The same operation was uh, conducted on a turret. As for me, with a such a teeny chipping model looks uh, a little bit better. But it's all up on you. Put tires on discs, and with a small drops of uh, super glue gel, I fix uh, our wheels on uh, their axis on the models. Uh, wheels are actually workable, but they are very fragile, so it'd be better to keep this model in safe and don't play with it. Well, actually, we can say it about all kits, all scale models in general. Well, maybe except uh, of radio control one. Almost the last tip on this model. It's an oil dots technique, uh, applied uh, oil uh, dots all over the model, and after that I bend them, uh, shade them with a white spirit. So oil uh, gives us additional weathering effects, uh, the game of colors on our model, and so it looks a little bit interesting, more interesting. And finally I cover all the model with a fine layer of matte coat. With this step, we summarizing all previous painting stages and fixed our work. But some additional polishing uh, small steps is needed too. First of all, at home on uh, headlights, which give us uh, realistic lights on our vehicle. After that, I will put here plastic transparent glasses. Also paint triplexes in chrome. At home and red tones on side lights. In general, triplexes mounted in hull hatches looks not very good, but they can be. But in the same moment, crafted triplexes on the turret uh, looks uh, pretty cool, much better than on the hull. I did them from uh, CD disc tape glued on ordinary transparent tape uh, from both sides. Uh, such a small sandwiches I applied on their places. And here it is, our final result, our final work on this project. French uh, armored wheeled reconnaissance vehicle or wheeled tank EBR 75. As a final stroke, you can find here dry pigments that imitate dust on it. And of course, antennas on the turret. It's uh, hard to imagine this vehicle without these antennas. Now, in the end, I can say that uh, this kit is good, good by different parameters. Assembling, uh, photo etching parts, detailizations, but not very good because of some mistakes in a compartment to real vehicles, absence of some transparent plastic parts, simplified detailizations on some details. But anyway, we achieve a really good model as for me. Uh, anyway, I like how it looks like. It's uh, unusual, uh, yep, all French vehicles, a little bit weird and unusual, but uh, they look cool, well. So that's all. I'm thinking about some of previous projects and also about new ones. We'll see what, uh, what will be on this channel. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, good luck and bye.